In this video, we will learn how to calculate Harfendal Harishman index. The question is consider an industry with six firms. An analyst collected the data for this industry as given below. We have to find out the Harfendal Harishman index for this industry. Okay, so we are being given six firms and their corresponding market share. That is, Firm 1's share in the total market is 30%. Similarly, Firm 2's share in the total market is 20%. And similarly, we are being given for Firm 6 as the market share is being given 10%. We need to calculate the Hirschman, sorry, what we call Herfindahl Hirschman index. Okay. Uh, so, what is actually this uh, Hirschman, sorry, Herfindahl Hirschman index? It is a measure of market concentration. Okay, it is a measure, measure of market concentration, market concentration. By market concentration, what we mean? A uh, market uh, concentration measures the extent of domination of market share by one or more firms. Okay how much uh, you know dom uh, how a particular firm or the number of firms dominate the market and that's called the market concentration and how do we calculate this very stuff let us find out here so for this let me write the formula first so hhi hhi is calculated by that is equal to 10000 times the summation of I is equal to 1 to N, then we have S I square. That means we square the market share of each firm and add them up and multiply by 10,000. Okay, so let me write it here 10,000. Okay, when we calculate the Hirschman. Sorry, Harfendal Harishman index. It will its value will lie between zero and ten thousand. Okay, if the value comes out to be zero, that means uh, the market is closer to the perfect competition. And if its value comes out to be ten thousand, the market is you know mm, is closer to the monopoly. That means we will have only one firm. So let's first find out what will be the value of the, you know, HHI here. So can I write then HHI is equal to for this particular question, HHI will be equal to 1 is 10 is 100, 1000, 10,000. We need to add the market share of each firm. Okay. Can I uh, write it in this fashion? That is, uh, so let me write it here. Firm 1 is market share okay firm one is market share market share square similarly firm two is market share let me write it here ms square plus so on to uh, firm six is market share okay that means h h i will be equal to so we have 10000 10000 and what is the firm one's market share that is 30% can i write 0 0.3 in place of 30% and we take it as square similarly for firm two's market share is 20% i can write 0 0.2 it is square plus similarly the firm three's market share is 0 0.15 it is square plus then we have 0 0.15 square then we have 0 0.1 square plus 0 0.1 square okay when we solve this we will get 1 is 10 is 100 thousand 10 thousand so when we add this stuff we will get 0 0.195 and our hhi will come out to be 1950 this will be the Herfendal Herishman index for this industry. Okay, simple thing what we do, we secure the market share of each firm 
and add them up and multiply it with 10,000. Okay. So as I have told you, if we have, if the value of this uh, HHI comes out to be zero, we will have infinite number of firms. Okay. And the case will be perfect competition. And if its value comes out to be 10,000, we will say we have a case of monopoly. The closer a market is to the monopoly, the higher the concentration and the lower its, uh, you know, competition. And here you can see if we have only one firm. So let us say we have only one firm and its market share is 100%. Then what will be HHI? HHI will be equal to 10,000. Uh, 10,000 times summation of i is equal to 1 to 1 that means we have only one firm f1 is market share and it is square so we will get 10 is 100,000 10,000 into 100 percent can be written as 1 okay 100 percent is equal to 1 square so we will get the value of 10,000 when we have only a single firm hhi comes out to be 10,000 and it means we have a monopoly okay but if the market share of each industry, each firm in the industry is, you know, closer to zero, okay, then in this case, what will happen if the market share of each industry is closer to zero percent, okay, then HHI will be equal to HHI will be equal to, for one's market share, and we assume each firm has, you know, um, for the sake of simplicity, we are saying a zero percent market share. It's not possible, although, but closer to zero okay so that means hhi will be equal to 10000 10000 plus the summation of each firm okay i is equal to 1 to let us say we have any number here n then we add the market share that is zero square firm 1 is market share plus firm 2 is market square so it will become 1 is 10 is 100000 when we add this up it will come out to be zero that means we will have zero as the hhi it will mean we have a perfect competition i hope i make myself clear in this video thank you